Hey YouTube, WNC Prepper. Had a couple of requests on the uh, first aid kit that was in one of my previous videos. Uh, want to know the contents. Uh, it's just a kit I've put together myself. Don't even know where I got the case. So uh, I'll just show you what's in there. It opens up. Kind of a trifold. First compartment, just got some two by two gauze. And there's my phone. Yep, that was a fire truck, if you were wondering. Uh, some knuckle bandages, some steri strips, a few of the larger band aids. And just some regular band-aids. I have two small kids, so I keep lots of band-aids. Uh, some swabs, and just a couple of splints. Second compartment. I have just some iodine pads for cleaning wounds or whatever. And then some swabs with iodine on them, cleaning out wounds. Couple packs of ibuprofen, some wet wipes, antibacterial, and then just some four by fours, and a larger abdominal pad for a larger, more serious cut or wound, and then just an instant cold compress. Up here, I have just some. Uh, Saline, normal saline, but it's in syringes for irrigating out, you know, cuts, abrasions, whatever. Just a couple of pairs of gloves, cheap pair of scissors, pair of tweezers, some first aid cream, some Benadryl, a couple things of Zantac. And some more gel. If you've ever had a toothache out where you couldn't do anything about it, that stuff's a lifesaver. Then some Visine. Regular roll of gauze. Triangular bandage. If you have to immobilize somebody's arm up against them. Regular roll of tape. Some hand sanitizer. Just an empty syringe. You have to irrigate a wound with water. And just a roll of the self adherent gauze. And that's pretty much it. Like I say, just a small first aid kit. Can be thrown in the truck or backpack. Uh, should be able to cover most problems you run into. Until uh, you can get somewhere if it's a larger larger problem than you can handle. At least you can, you can get first aid started until you can get, get somewhere. If you have any questions, comments, just let me know. Thank you.